guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jayla for those of you who don't know so I asked on Instagram what you guys want to talk about and I got some pretty interesting responses and I'm gonna do my hair first I'm gonna undo real quick okay because I gotta get to my hair a few topics that you guys were asking to talk about on Instagram let's start off with number one Beyonce first of all Beyonce is my mom Beyonce is the closest thing to perfection we have on this earth and I really just don't understand how people do not like her. I feel like if you don't like Beyonce, I think you a hater. Y'all, this is a twist out that I had that wasn't dry. It was bomb when I took it out and then towards the end of the day, it just got poofy and last night I slept on it. So this is how it looks today. Oh, that hurt. Which, I mean, I'm not mad at because I knew it wasn't dry when I took it out, but I had somewhere to go. So I just had to deal with the consequences of having the wet twist out. And the shit poofed up on me. Oh, I need a water bottle. Or do I? Oh, child. It don't feel dry. I just feel, I don't know. Let me try to put some more of this stuff that I put in it. It's a little tangly. I could probably use a water bottle. Because if I can avoid wetting my hair, that'd be great. But today I'm just gonna do half up, half down, which is why I took my sleeves out of my shirt because in order for me to do half up, half down, my hair, my I gotta, you know, reach my head. This is what being natural is about. Let's just try stuff, y'all. Would you look at there? I don't even need a spray bottle. I don't even have to wet my hair when Okay, so um, yeah, so Beyonce just came out with her homecoming album and or documentary and it's nothing that we haven't heard before or seen before but y'all beyonce is such a art like she is an artist like everything that she makes is a fucking masterpiece bro i'm just so impressed by her i don't know she's so effortless like okay beyonce is she's just so effortless and i think that's what's so attractive about her is that she literally just don't have to try and that's what that's what makes her Beyonce. And I just think that the people that don't like her are haters. Like, how do you not like Beyonce? Like, she's never had a public slip up. You know what I mean? Knock on wood. She's never like she gives back. Beyonce is that role model that everybody else is looking for, but I think kind of looking past. Beyonce's a great role model. Like, she's talented. Like, she's smart. She's beautiful. She can dance, act, and sing. Like, who? don't like Beyonce bro for real for real I don't even date I don't even think I could be married to somebody that don't like Beyonce and I was trying to say something like you know I don't want to be on the bandwagon or nothing but it's not bandwagon like it's just appreciating like who she is as an artist and as a person and she's a mom and I don't know I look up to that shit because it's like that is amazing okay Beyonce's amazing so yeah um, me and Jojo gagged over the TV for two hours and 17 minutes yesterday watching it and I wouldn't mind learning trying to learn some of the choreography but I can't dance and I'll be out here looking goofy y'all be weary of guys who don't like Beyonce okay that means that I ain't gonna say it mean that he intimidated by strong black women but sus you might want to find one that appreciates her for what she can do and what she has done just saying so with the Beyonce came the veganism because Beyonce was like oh you know to get herself back to where she wanted to be she was a vegan and my good sis has great discipline okay I am not my good sis <laughs> no what you say no bread no meat no carbs no sugar no alcohol no what what no can't fade it I, I sadly I don't have that type of discipline she asked would Jax be growing up in a vegan home I can't see myself being vegan like I'm all about the woke shit like I totally agree maybe we shouldn't be eating meat definitely shouldn't be eating dairy I totally agree but my lifestyle just doesn't line up with that and I'm just not ready to give up Texas Roll House Rolls I'm just not ready I'm not ready I love Texas Roll House Rolls I love steak I love potatoes and bacon bits on it I even pork like I'm not ready to give that up and a lot of people cut that out of their diet for obvious reasons which I agree with but I just don't have to self-discipline you know I when I did cut out milk I had to disgust myself to cut out milk like I had to watch all those pita videos with the I don't want to get into detail just in case some of y'all eat it. You know, I had to like disgust myself like I had to really be like ill milk is disgusting so I probably had to like 
see some nasty shit about me or something and make me just want to live off the land because I just don't see myself I just don't see myself being a vegan I don't Miles talking about he gonna be a vegetarian I don't know how that's going for him but I know he hungry that's for sure I ain't hungry and I'm already losing too much weight I just don't know I just don't think that we'll be able to do that uh yes hello um can I get a faux 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 that's me but if anybody can be vegan and they have the discipline to be vegan then girl do you i wish i could and honestly i feel like if you grow up like that it's better for you you know like because i know this girl that grew up vegan and that's all she knows so she doesn't have any desire but i have tasted a chick-fil-a chicken nugget and therefore i will just never be able to because i've already been exposed to the chick-fil-a chicken nuggets um, meeting fans in person. I met you at Texas Roadhouse. That really made my day. Your son is so adorable. Thank you, babe. Um, meeting fans in person. I love when you guys come up to me in person. And to be honest with you, I don't even call y'all fans. I call y'all supporters. But I love meeting my supporters in person because it just kind of puts a face to like, I don't know, it just kind of makes me feel like y'all are real. Because to be honest with you, I know a lot of people don't think that I'm real. What the hell I just do with that hair tie? Hair tie, hair tie, where you go? Ho ho, before I see you, don't hide. Is it in my shirt? Like y'all can't believe that I'm a real person. I can't believe that all of y'all are real, are real people. Like all of y'all are real people and it's like, 500,000 of y'all and I can't believe y'all are real people so to put a face to the like the crowd I guess you can say just if it, it, it feels so unreal so I love meeting you guys I love hugging y'all asking what y'all's names are and I love taking pictures and yeah there's never an inappropriate time to you know walk up to me and ask for a picture it doesn't matter where we are where we at it just really doesn't matter I just don't mind it at all it's kind of weird when i'm with new people though because it kind of catches people off guard sometimes or like if i have a new friend and they're in the vlogs and people come up to them in the vlogs it's like it just catches them off guard i'm used to it but it catches people off guard like it's weird for them i guess and i mean i guess I would, it would be weird too if i was just out eating dinner or lunch with my friend and then somebody just asked to come up and take a picture with them and it's like Okay, I wish I could meet every last single one. I feel like I talk about this all the time, but I just don't, I'm still losing weight. I was 225 when I gave birth to Jack, and now I'm 149, something like that, last time I checked. And I'm not doing anything different. I'm not working out, there's no meal plan, like, I'm not really doing anything differently. I just think that it's breastfeeding. And I know I said I got left off the train, but I guess I should've gave my body a little bit of time to recover from having a baby considering I carried the baby for 10 months and I just thought, assumed that everything was gonna go back to normal so much faster than what it did and it didn't. And so I kind of like didn't give myself time to recover. My stomach is like, you know how your stomach has discoloration? Your stomach is darker. Um, your stomach, your neck, your armpits, like your coochie, everything just gets darker when you get pregnant. And my stomach's actually still kind of dark so i think i'm still healing from having a baby i really do say just give yourself a full year and i know that it's hard to be uncomfortable with yourself for a full year because i was uncomfortable with myself for pretty much my whole life with my booty and then um after i had jacks i was uncomfortable being that weight but i mean it really didn't matter to me or bother me because i don't know i just had a baby but after you have the baby for a year and it's like, all right, sis, you know, people keep telling you, oh, it's okay. You just had a baby. What do you expect? You just had a baby. What do you expect? And then your baby hit like one years old and all that you just had a baby shit goes out the window. Like, no, sis. So I totally understand. But as for me, body changes, I got a double F boob and a double D boob. And so my boobs are bigger. My clothes fit differently. I really, really, really hate that. I really don't like 
I don't like big boobs on me. I just don't. I like, I had the perfect little C cups before and now they're just so big and none of my clothes fit the way I want them to, which is, I mean, it's not impossible because people got big boobs every day, but like, I just like, personally myself, I just like smaller boobs in general, not even just on me. I just think that smaller boobs are just more attractive in general. I'm all about the itty bitty titty committee, okay? Sign me up, even though I'm not in there, I just wanna go to look. Like, everybody keeps saying like, what baby, what baby? And I'm like, y'all, when y'all see my butt, y'all gonna say, what fucking butt job, Jayla? What butt job? I haven't been this small since high school. Like, what is going on? I complete, I haven't lost all my butt, but y'all, it's not the same. It's going away. Like, it's going away. I lost way too much weight. I lost way too much weight. And I don't know how to stop it. I didn't know how to stop it. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know. I'm probably still losing. I just don't know. Oh, this a little bit uh, rough around these pots. I don't really know how to, okay. Cause I want to make this so it's not like tangly when I take it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh child. Okay. But yeah, I haven't been this small since like high school. And it's crazy because I never thought that I would get this small. It's definitely just new. Like just changes that may seem like a good thing, but not really a good thing. Like this romper that I have on now, way too big. All of my clothes, way too big. All of my jeans, way too big. Everything's just big. And it used to be too small. So, and then when I was huge with Jax, it was like, okay, now I gotta buy big clothes, but now I got super big clothes because I can't even fit my clothes that I used to be able to fit. So everything's just rapidly changing and I'm just kind of going with the flow, rolling with the punches. I'll deal with it once, once Jax is a little bit older, you know, and I give my body at least the time that I was pregnant for to get back to normal, then I will kind of, see what the damages are and assess the damages as needed. And if that means get another butt job, then so be it. That'll be after I have another kid though. We already talked about this. Anyway, so yeah, I haven't really been doing anything to lose weight y'all. And I'm, I'm sorry that I can't be of more help. There are plenty of YouTubers though that are doing weight loss journeys and have done them. So I can't really help. I just tell you, I'm just gonna tell you that if you breastfeed and give it some time, girl, everybody's body is different but just give it some time. This half up, half down hairstyle is so underrated. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. <laughs> How do I deal with unwanted parenting advice? Y'all, first first of all, I avoid folks, okay? I avoid people that got too much to say to me about my own kid, I do, and it's annoying because that whole first time mama thing and people doubting you and people always wanna give you advice is so real like people just automatically assume that you're struggling i may be struggling in other aspects of life like cleaning cooking stuff like that but i know how to take care of my baby and if i don't then i will ask you now when it comes to his pediatrician i'll just be like okay i'm not about to sit here and explain myself or explain why my baby acts a certain way or he needs to be doing this or he needs to be doing that and honestly i don't have a whole lot of family members like that um and my mom is definitely like, oh, it's your baby, your way. So I appreciate her opinion a lot more than other people that just kind of try to tell me what to do. But I can't say that it's hard not to say something back. Like, especially when their research is so outdated and they had kids 45 years ago or some shit like that. And it's just like, we live in a whole new diff different generation. Like these kids that we're raising are not y'all's kids. You can't give me the same advice and you know, think that I'm gonna get the same outcome because these aren't the same kids. A lot of stuff that people be recommending be so country, like straight, oh it worked for me, or my grandma told me this, or all of that. And as soon as somebody tells you, oh do you know how many kids I have? That's it. That's it. That sends me over the board. That sends me over the top. I just be like, okay, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how many kids you had. This one's mine, let me do my job. Like, dang. And I'm so argumentative when it comes to stuff like that because I be so ready to prove somebody wrong about something, especially if I know I read it. I'm a first time mom, like, I read everything. You know what I mean? I check my sources, I go back. I just, I just educate myself about a lot of stuff and this is not, I, your, your, he said, she said, work for my grandma deal is not, it's not gonna stand up to my argument. So let's argue. And I only let people watch him that respect what I say. I'm pretty sure my mom thinks I'm a great mom. So she can watch him. Jojo thinks I'm a great mom. She can watch him. She agrees. She doesn't think that she's a better mom. She doesn't think she could be a better mom to my baby than me. Ooh, girl, that's annoying. 
with that being said, a lot of people are wondering how I'm adjusting being a single mom for a little while. And let me just say, I respect single moms so much now. Like, before I didn't know, but y'all, now I know. Now I truly understand why moms, single moms, and I'm not gonna say be bitter, but they be fucking mad. And they be mad for a good reason. They have every reason to be mad, okay? My husband, and I don't even feel it, cause I don't even I don't even feel all of the effects of it, but I feel enough of it right now to where I understand why they are mad. Because as a single mom, okay, I want y'all to just put this into perspective, okay? I do everything that Miles do, okay? Plus take care of Jax right now. And that I feel like makes me superwoman because it's like I have to make money, pay bills, pay my bills, take care of my baby. I'm doing the same things that he's doing, but by myself. And to be honest with you, this is not made to be done by yourself. Like, you need somebody with you. This is not made to be done by yourself. I cannot believe that it's women out here that I have to take care. Like y'all, like single mothers are some of the strongest women ever made. Like, that is crazy to me. I respect them so much. I just, I just do. I respect single moms so much. The hours are endless. You never have time for yourself. The most time you have to yourself is when you get in the shower. Like, I can see why moms get so mad at their baby daddies or sperm donors, whatever they want to call it, when shit don't work out. When they just ask him, you just got to ask him, baby daddy. Like, it's just, I can totally understand. Because considering that my husband is still, although he's away, he's still active. Like, we're still married and, you know, stuff like that. So... If I do have a hard night, you know, oh, he'll send me like edible arrangements or, you know, he'll tell me how good of a mom I am. And you need the extra encouragement. You need that extra refill. When you're a baby and when your babies are just draining you, draining you. And I had such a hard day with Jax one time. He's getting, he's starting to bite. He's starting to pull my hair. He's just starting to just be busy and just, I know he doesn't mean to, but it takes a lot of patience to deal with him, you know, by myself all day. And sometimes I need that refill, you know? I need that reassurance. I need someone to tell me, you're doing a fucking good job. Like, you're doing so good. Because it just makes me stop and it's like, okay, I'm, I'm doing this, I got this, I can do this. But some single moms don't have that. Justin well. I do think that Miles held me up a little bit when it comes to like doing stuff because I depended on him so much and he really didn't have a lot of time in the day to do anything because I don't have a lot of time in the day to do anything either. So when it came to like housework, if I have been watching Jax all day, I'd be like, <laughs> dishes, what? I'm trying to relax. And he had been at work all day. So it's like, huh, dishes, I'm trying to relax. But now that he's not here, I have to do those things anyway. And so I can say that my house is the cleanest house that I've ever seen it before. And all the laundry be caught up and all my dishes be done and just everything just runs a little bit smoother now that I don't have anybody to depend on um, because I just have to do it all myself. But I'd be damned if I do it all by myself and Miles is here because that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. Um, and I, I'm not doing, not doing it out of pettiness. It's just, you know, if it's not on my agenda like that, then I mean, I can't really expect it to be on his agenda like that and then shit just doesn't get done. I'm adjusting really good though. I mean, I have help. I have plenty of help. I have my mom, I have my sister, but it's just a matter of getting them to line up their schedules with mine because these are people that have lives and everybody's life is not gonna just stop because mine went on deployment. So I'm adjusting pretty good though. I mean, it's hard to like get my nails done, get my feet done. You just gotta move a little bit differently when you by yourself. But I do appreciate the break. You know, the break that it gave me and Miles opportunity to kind of miss each other and stuff like that. I appreciate that. But I do wish that he was here and I do wish that he didn't miss out on certain things. Like Jax is about to start walking. I know he's probably gonna be walking by the end of this month, but he's about to start walking and I'm, I'm sad that he's not gonna be here to witness that and he's sad too, but I mean, Jax is getting taken care of. He's fed and he's healthy and everything's good. It's hard to make certain judgment calls without somebody here to kind of back me up. But girl, I'm chilling. How do I maintain being Jayla all while being a wife and a mom? <sighs> Woo child. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot. It is a lot. 
I'd be damned if somebody tell me that I can't. Because I'd be trying to do it. The only person that can tell me that I can't do it is me. That's it. If I was just a stay-at-home mom, this would be a little bit easier. But I'm not. What is Jackson doing? Y'all, just to let y'all know, Miles is not nowhere getting shot at, okay? He is living his best life. He is not in danger. Miles goes to Cheesecake Factories on Fridays. He's on jet skis. He's living his best life, like I said. Don't be worried about Miles. A lot of people are asking, how's Miles, how's Miles, how's Miles? And I'm telling y'all, he's big chilling, okay? Actually just got a tattoo like yesterday or today, something like that. He's chilling. Miles is fine. It's me that y'all need to worry about, okay? It's me. It's not Miles. Fuck, fuck him. It's me. I'm the one. <laughs> this is a weird ponytail. I'm gonna redo it one more time. Let's see what another topic was while I redo this ponytail. Someone asked um, what we were doing for Jackson's first birthday. And I think that birthday parties are a little bit of a waste of money when they're this small. Um, I'd rather him be able to go to school and you know, pass out his invitations to his friends and stuff like that. Um, but for his first birthday, I definitely wanna go somewhere on vacation if Miles is back. I don't know what we'll do if he's not back, but if he is back, we'll definitely go on vacation. And I think that maybe we'll try to alternate between birthdays and vacations because I want Jackson to understand that certain, like you can't get time back. You know, I want him to understand that traveling experiences are better than, than gifts. You know what I mean? The material things. So that's what I want him to understand. So that's why I would rather us go on a vacation or a trip or something versus um, him just having birthday parties every year and expecting gifts or us just buying him things. Like I want him to experience, Just I just want him to be well-rounded. So I think that, I don't think that Jackson is gonna have a first birthday party. Let's talk about birth control right quick. Someone asked if I was using any birth control, I guess because a lot of people think that me and Miles are gonna get pregnant when we get back. And when he gets back and um no we walk by faith not by sight over here and to be honest with you god got me no i'm kidding i'm not kidding but i'm kidding okay i feel like there's a responsible way there's no 100 percent way to not get pregnant unless you don't have sex that's it even though birth control i could get pregnant but i just rather not use birth control because i just don't feel like birth control personally lines up with my body every time i've been on birth control i've been on the depo shot blew up I had the Mirena, that gave me like yeast infections. I had a rash, I was itchy, it was ridiculous. Um, so, and then one time on Facebook, I seen this lady, I had to get her feet removed, her toes removed because of her IUD. I'm not doing that. I feel like if you have sex responsibly, you'll be okay. I know that people say that pulling out doesn't work, but me and Miles used pull out method for four years before we got pregnant, and the one time we didn't, is the one time we got Jackson. So I literally just think that some of these guys pull out games are stupid weak, they lie to y'all. Get you a man that know what he doing and I feel like you'll be fine. I really can't speak for anybody else but Miles definitely knows what he's doing and I just feel like if I, if I did want to have a baby, like how we're, okay, so we're not gonna get pregnant, all right, I'm tracking my ovulation. We're being responsible, okay? Not just, oh, willy-nilly, let's shoot the club up every night. Like, I feel like that's irresponsible. And the only way, it's okay to be irresponsible if you don't if you don't mind having another kid. But right now, I mind having another kid because I have a wedding to go to in December that is my own. So, I don't want another kid right now. So, I'm going to be responsible and I'm just going to, um... I'm not gonna put any birth control in my body. my body. I feel like it's poison, okay? That's what I feel like. I know y'all tired of me in between this fake, this woke and this fake woke and oh, I wanna be natural, but oh, let me get a faux faux faux. I know y'all tired of me, but that's how I feel, okay? I just think that birth control is poison. I'm not putting it in my body. I don't wanna put it in my body. It don't work with my body. It works with some people's bodies just fine, but it don't work with mine, it doesn't. If I did have another kid, I wouldn't be terribly mad. I just had to wobble down the aisle, which would be not ideal. That's all. So for a product, I just use this. All right. And then I used this. For my gel. And this is how we rocking. Cool. Alright y'all, that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I will talk to y'all later. Peace out. Bye.